So recently, the Wall Street Journal came out with a huge article warning us all that Gen Z was coming. I mean, it was pages long and I can send that to you if you're interested. Anyway, in the article, it talked about that this Generation Z is going to be totally different from millennials and that we had to gear up for them. And I thought, I found it very interesting. And I started really thinking about age because I speak on the generations and I speak about each of them and then we divide them up by their age. And then just the other day, I was listening to CNBC and I heard a guy named Strauss Zelnick talk. My book is entitled Becoming Ageless. He's 61, he's a CEO. And he talked about age getting in the way of our success. We have to look at age in a very, very different way. Age is irrelevant. It's irrelevant to our success, but many of us make it a deterrent. It becomes a blockage, right? And so I got to thinking as I was listening to him talk. Always with you, it cannot be done. I was thinking about the things that we've done in our lifetime. And I was thinking about young people and how someone like Mark Zuckerberg started. He founded Facebook when he was in college at the age of 20. And look at him today. They say he is a billionaire. And then we look at someone like Rita Moreno. I just saw an article where she is 84 years old and she is still dancing on Broadway. So I want you to think about your age today. And I want you to think about what it is. Are you using your age to stop you from doing what you want? Are you saying, I'm too young for this? I'm too young to give this a chance? Or I'm way too old. I missed my window of opportunity. So we don't want age really to be a deterrent. And, and I want to tell you a quick story about a guy from Texas, from the University of Texas. Who was in the engineering department and his name is John Goodenough. John Goodenough, in, when he was 50 years old, he and his team discovered the rechargeable battery. At the age of 94, which is where he is right now, they have come out with a new lithium battery. Yeah, I said 94. John Goodenough is still working at the University of Texas at age 94. So what am I saying? I'm telling you, whatever your age, whether you're young or older, let's not make it be a deterrent because age is irrelevant. It's what we do with our lives and the experiences that make us grow, make us rich, and make us a contributor. There may be some of you out there today that are actually celebrating a birthday. Yeah, and I say do it with joy. Be happy. You're entering into a new age to do the best that you can. Thanks. I'm Karen McCullough with another lesson from the road.